So there are different uh, types of ways that you can cool the scalp. Um, the, there's one way where you actually take this uh, material that can be, that's insulated and can be frozen, and it's a flat, um, soft material, and you freeze it uh, to be very cold, and then you shape it to the head, put an insulating cap on top of it, and then uh, that starts the cooling period. Over 20 to 30 minutes, that uh, cap that you shape to your head will actually warm up. And so then you change the cap after 30 minutes. And those are manual methods of scalp cooling. So you rent a whole bunch of caps so that you have enough to get you through all of the pre-cooling, about a half an hour, during the chemotherapy infusion, and then for a couple of hours afterwards. So that's called manual scalp cooling. You need a freezer or dry ice, and you need a cooler to bring in. And you need somebody to change the cap for you. The uh, automated or uh, types of scalp cooling methods uh, include a machine that has a coolant that uh, actually circulates through a cap that looks like a swimming cap. So there's a long tube and then a swimming cap. There, for some of the machine, one type, there's a temperature monitor, several of them in the front and back of the cap, and others have a single temperature monitor. And then you put the cap on the head, and then again, you put an insulating cap on top to keep the temperature at a, a stable temperature that you want to get, you know, keep the cap at a stable temperature that you uh, uh, trying to achieve. That doesn't require any effort on the part of the patient uh, because the device is placed, you leave the device on, uh, and then when you're done, you unhook it and go home. You don't bring anything home with you.